Okay, so normally if we are going to look at the variance of um, a distribution, then we say, right, we know what we need to calculate. The variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Now for a binomial distribution, we already know that the expected value of x is np. So that reduces our problem down to what's the expected value of x squared. But um, I can promise you that this line of attack is going to get disgustingly horrible and not get us anywhere. What's going to work a lot better, seems more complicated to begin with, but ends up working out really nicely, is to start by investigating e of x, x minus 1. So that's the expected value, but not of the individual x values, of the individual x that we could get all the different possible number of successes, that x multiplied by x minus 1. OK, so I'm going to add that on as a row on this table, x, x minus 1. And then I'm going to find the mean of these things. They're going to have the same probabilities as the original x's, but the values will be different. So if x is 0, then x, x minus 1 is 0. If x is 1, then x, x minus 1 is 0. If x is 2, then x times x minus 1 is 2. And then 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 4 is 20. This will be x, x minus 1, and then the final one will be n, n minus 1. And what we're going to do is forget this row here, and we're going to do the expectation of x, x minus 1. OK, here goes. This will get a bit messy, but bear with me. It all works out beautifully. So we're doing x, x minus 1 times its probability, plus this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this, plus this times this, all the way across to this final one here. Okay, so the first two I won't bother writing down because they're both zero. So the first one we get is two times the probability, don't forget that's the probability that would have been down in this box here, which is n choose x, x is two, so n choose two, p to the two, one minus p to the n minus two. So n choose two, p to the two, one minus p to the n minus two. Plus, right, next one, 6 times this probability in here, x was 3, so this would say n choose 3, p to the 3, 1 minus p to the n minus 3. 6, p to the, uh, sorry, 6, n choose 3, n choose 3, p to the 3, 1 minus p to the n minus 3. Okay, next one is going to be 12. And then the probability that would have been down there is n choose 4, p to the 4, 1 minus p to the n minus 4, plus, have I got room for one more? Yes, I, mm, have I? Yes, just about. 20, n choose, n choose 5, p to the 5, 1 minus p to the n minus 5, plus, and then this one on the end is going to be, I'm just doing the last one now, n, n minus 1, times the probability down here, which would be n choose n, p to the n, 1 minus p to the n minus n. I've just about managed to squish that on the end there. Okay, let's tidy this up a little bit. What have we got? We've got um, 2 times n choose 2, now we're just going to use the formula from C2 binomial, n choose r is n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. So we get 2, n choose 2 is n factorial over 2 factorial n minus 2 factorial, p squared 1 minus p to the n minus 2, plus 6. Now n choose 3 is n factorial over 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial, p cubed 1 minus p to the n minus 3 plus 12. n choose 4 is n factorial over 4 factorial n minus 4 factorial p to the 4 1 minus p to the n minus 4 plus 20. n choose 5 is n factorial over 5 factorial n minus 5 factorial p to the 5 1 minus p to the n minus 5 and then on the end we've got n n minus 1 p to the n which I don't I think I can, well there we go, there we go, n, n minus 1p to the n. Right, let's do some cancelling like we did with the proof of the mean. The n minus 2 factorial will cancel with all but the last two of this factorial. The n minus 3 factorial will cancel with all but the last uh, n, n minus, last three of these 
on the top and the cancelling will be the same as it was um, the cancelling here will be the same as it was with the mean. We've also got the 2 cancelling the 2, we've got 3 times 2 cancelling the 6, we've got 4 times 3 times 2, well the 4 times 3 cancels the 12 but the 2 factorial will still be down there. We've got 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, the 5 times 4 will cancel the 20 leaving the 3 times 2 times 1 and so we can tidy it all up to look like this. On the top here we'll have n, n minus 1. The n minus 2 factorial will have cancelled and the 2 cancels the 2. p squared 1 minus p to the n minus 2. Now we've got n, n minus 1, n minus 2. The n minus 3 factorial will have cancelled at the bottom and the 3 factorial cancels the 6. p cubed 1 minus p to the n minus 3 plus. Now we've got on the top n, nope, sorry we haven't, n has been, no yes we have, sorry what am I talking about? n, n minus 1, n minus 2 n minus 3, still there, n minus 4 factorial is cancelled. On the bottom, the 4 times 3 is cancelled with the 12, but we've still got the 2 factorial. p to the 4, 1 minus p to the n minus 4. I'm going to have to go on to another line. Plus, now we've got n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4. The n minus 5 factorial is all cancelled off the bottom. The 20 is cancelled with the 5 times 4, leaving the 3 factorial. p to the 5, 1 minus p to the n minus 5, plus n, n minus 1, p to the n. Right, now what should we do? Let's pull something out. Let's pull out n and n minus 1 and a p. In fact, let's pull out p squared, because that's can see that here, n, n minus 1, p squared, n, n minus 1, at least p squared. Everything's got an n, an n minus 1, and at least a p squared. So we can pull them out. That leaves us with 1 minus p to the n minus 2 plus n and n minus 1 have gone, leaving n minus 2. p squared has gone, leaving a p, 1 minus p to the n minus 3 plus n and n minus 1 have gone, leaving n minus 2, n minus 3 and over 2 factorial and p squared has gone out leaving p squared and 1 minus p to the n minus 4 plus n and n minus 1 have gone leaving n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 and on the bottom 3 factorial 2 of the p's have gone leaving 3 and 1 minus p to the n minus 5 and then on the end there our n and our n minus 1 and our have gone out 2 of the p's have gone leaving p to the n minus 2 on the end there. OK, now I'm going to employ the same trick that I used with the mean. I'm going to change my n minus 2s to m's, just in this square bracket so we can see what's going on. So this is an m, this is an m, this is an m minus 1, this is m, m minus 1, this is m minus 2, this is m, m minus 1, m minus 2, and m minus 3, and then on the end there, m. Now, running out of room a little bit, so I'm just going to hope you can see the same trick as we used in the mean. So we've got n, m minus 1, p squared, and in the brackets what we have is a binomial expansion, and it's to the power of m, and the first thing, the thing that starts with all its power having the m, all, all of it's got the, all the powers, and then one less, one less here, one less here, and then in the end none, because the p's got the whole lot. So the first thing is the 1 minus p, and then the thing that slowly gains the powers is the p. They're going to cancel, and that all together gives me 1 to the power of m, which is 1, and I get n, m minus 1, p squared. Now that isn't the variance, don't forget. I didn't start with variance equals. I started with e of x, x minus 1 equals. So let's take this result, the e of x, x minus 1 equals this, and then see if we can get the variance. Now on the left hand side we've got the expectation of x squared minus x. And we know from uh, S1 that we can do that in two separate bits, the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x. So this is equal to n, n minus 1, p 
squared, which means that the expectation of x squared is equal to n n minus 1 p squared plus the expectation of x, which we know is np. So what about the variance? The variance of x is equal to the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x squared, which in this case is equal to n n minus 1. Oops, that's a big bracket. Let me just write that a bit better. n n minus 1 p squared plus np minus np, that's e of x, squared. Uh, let's write it like this so that we can expand out those brackets a bit more easily and see what we get. So we get n squared p squared minus np squared plus np minus n squared p squared. They're going to cancel, which gives us np minus np squared. Pull out an np, np, 1 minus p, done.